Song of Solomon, chapter 1. Historically, it's Solomon and his wife. Practically, it's looking at marriage. Spiritually, it's Christ in his church. Now, the songs that you find in the Bible is Moses, Exodus 15, Deborah, Judges chapter 5, Jeremiah, the book of Lamentations, David, multiple, and then Solomon. So there are songs in the in the in the Bible. Psalm is a type of Jesus Christ, and his wife is a type of the church. A song of songs, which is Solomon's. There's the author. Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth. That's the, the, the bride speaking. For thy love is better than wine. So, again, we're looking at, you know, not alcohol. Because of the savor of thy good ointments, thy name as ointment poured forth. Therefore do the virgins love thee. So Solomon was admired. Solomon was loved. And the, the smell, the, the, the attitude was pleasant of Solomon. Draw me. Bring closer. Come to be. We will run after thee. Looking at my notes. Draw me singular. We is plural. We will run after thee. The king has brought me into his chambers, rooms. We will be glad. Notice, the king has brought me into his chambers. We, again, will be glad and rejoice in thee. We will remember thy love more than wine. That goes back to verse 2. The upright love with thee. Now, the bride of Christ is plural. There's men and women. Men and women of all different ages, but we're going to be one one day as the bride. I am black. She was black. One of the women that Pharaoh, I mean, that Solomon loved, we don't know if this is the woman, but he loved Pharaoh's daughter. He even built her her own little house because he knew she transcends the Lord. He knew it was evil, but he, you know, he builds her another house. But calmly. I mean, she was beautiful. She was admired. She was handsome. I am black, but calmly, old daughters of Jerusalem. Here's this woman speaking to the Jewish women. She's not Jewish. That was a sin of the law. For any Jew, the Jews were restricted by marriage to marry within the tribe. Dan is to marry in Dan. Judah was to move, the, the marry in Judah. Solomon stepped out of Judah, stepped out of Israel, and married women of all different races. This woman is black. And the first man in the Bible to be saved as we are saved today was a man of Ethiopian, a eunuch, that got saved reading Isaiah 53, part of the church. You know, we're Americans, right? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. As the tents of Kedar, and that's a, a group of people that's from outside of uh, Israel, as the curtains of Solomon from the outside. Look not upon me because I am black. No prejudice there. And, and for the Jewish people, it's not just because you're black. Because you're a heathen. You're a Gentile. You're the dead dog. 
Listen, even the Sumerians had the prejudice. Sumerians were half breed. They were half Jewish and half Gentile, and they were looked ill upon. Even the times of Jesus, that woman at the well, the Samaritan woman, Jesus, what are you doing talking to me, being a Jew? Because the son has looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. A lot of families get upset when a person gets saved. Especially when you're Catholic. Especially when you're Muslim. Especially when you're Jehovah Witness. When you come to know Christ, you are alienated. Especially if you're Jewish. A lot of times to become the bride of Christ through the, the, the salvation of Jesus Christ alone alienates you and angers your family. And so be more so if you do what Jesus tells you to go in all the world and preach the gospel. My family is angry with me because I went and preached them the gospel. If, 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 all right, you're a bride of Jesus Christ. You're a born again Bible believing Christian. Okay, that's fine. But don't attack us. They made me keeper of the vineyards, plural, but my own vineyard have they have I not kept. Our, our land is not here. A lot of people hold to, oh, you know, America. It ain't America. Hebrews 11 speaks to us about there's a, there's a place yet to be to reach for a better land. This is not our home. We're pilgrims passing through. A lot of people forget. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm a resident of America. I'm American. Not, not if you're a born again Bible believing Christian. You're a resident of New Jerusalem. America is 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 your traveling place. What what if God called you to go somewhere else? Move you out. I'm not talking just a missionary. What if God called you? All right, I want you to move to another country and make a whole new life in another country. Tell me. O thou whom my soul loveth, talking to the talking to the groom, where thou feedest, where thou makest thy flock to rest at noon. Now notice it says maketh thy flock to rest. That's Psalm uh, 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh his flock. you got to make the sheep to lay down. You almost got to make the sheep to come to serve the Lord on church day. Because they won't lay down themselves. So that backs up what Solomon writes, and that backs up what David wrote. For why should I be as one of that turns aside by the flock of the of thy companions? She wants Solomon, but not her workers, not his workers. She wants to be Solomon's and totally Solomon and no one else's. Companions of Solomon. And there's been a lot of new marriages. Where the man has had companions. And maybe he's lived with men. His roommates. And he gets married and, and, and he comes in time. You know what? I got to leave you guys. I, I got to go for my wife. My wife doesn't want you guys hanging around. My wife doesn't want you living here no more. If thou know not, O thou fairest among women, here's the bridegroom. I mean, excuse me, here's the groom talking to the bridegroom. I mean, get it right. Here's the bridegroom speaking to the bride. Go thy way forth by the footsteps of the flock. Feed thy kids beside the shepherd tents. The shepherd tents would be here a type of church. A church is to feed. A church is to feed. I have compared thee, comparison, oh my love, to a company of horses in Pharaoh's chariot. Now, I'm going to look to that, that woman, she's Pharaoh, Pharaoh's daughter, because Pharaoh's chariot, and you would say, oh, he's likened her to a horse. 
Yeah, but Pharaoh's chariots weren't just any horses. They would be the strong horses of the strong horses. They would be the beautiful horses of the beautiful horses. They would be horses of, of greatness. They would be horses of great value. They would be horses that would be taken great care of. When you saw a horse walking down the street, oh, that's just a farmer's horse. That's a family's horse used for riding. But when you saw Pharaoh's horses and you saw his chariot, stands out. He's saying to his bride, you stand out. There's no one else like you. We will make thee borders of gold. With studs of silver. Just beauty, honor, and price. While the king sitteth at his table. My spliknard. That's a perfume. Send it forth to smell thereof. There's aroma. There's satisfaction. The bundle of myrrh. That's a perfume. Is my well beloved unto me. Smells good. He shall lie all night between my breasts. The husband and wife. Uh, Solomon writes, let, thy, let your wife's breasts be satisfied at all times. I had a Christian tell me one time that the Song of Solomon is perverted and he doesn't read it. Sorry that you think that way. This is a man writing to his wife. This is Christ writing to us. It is John that laid his head by the breast of God, Jesus Christ, that heard the heartbeat, the beloved disciple. My beloved is unto me as a cluster of camp here. That's, that's a perfume again. In the vineyard of Englii. Behold, the bride again. Behold, thou art fair, my love. Behold, thou art fair. Thou hast dove's eyes. And doves have a binocular vision field. They focus one single object at a time. Man, that's Jesus Christ. He focuses on his bride. He's not focusing on the world. He says, he says to us, go in the world and preach the gospel. Don't bring the world in. Because when you bring the world in the church, you, Jesus is not looking at the, the world. He's looking at us. He's praying for us. He gave his life for us. He's wanting to be with us. Waiting for the Father to say, go get your bride, son. Behold, thou art fair, my beloved. Yea, pleasant. Also our bed is green, vegetation, fruitful. There's light. That's what the color green represents. Light, vegetation, fruitful. The world says Easter bunny eggs. It says Estar with all her boobs. It says Estar with all her wounds. Nowhere does it say eggs as in Easter and all that other junk. The beams of our house are cedar. Good, ornamental, strong wood. And the rafters of fur. It's the best. It's the greatest. A place to be built for a husband and wife. It's the best. When we get to New Jerusalem, it is the best. Jesus says he's preparing a mansion. There are churches and Bibles that, that underestimate, you know, he's building us a room. He's building us a place. No, 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 no. We're getting the best one day.